Hello there, Di here. Today I'm just going quickly through the last stages of putting together my little tacker album. I've made this purposefully fairly plain, um, more of a masculine sort of colouring, using up some old paper lines that I had, mainly Kaiser Craft, uh, with a little bit of Graphic 45 as you can see there. This is just the inside liners of the covers going on. I've made this one to dispose of the last, well, almost the last of the manila file folders that I had that were too rough and I've solved the problem in this little album by matting all of the pages. Here's a piece of grunge paper that I've um, coloured up with distress inks and dyes and sprays and grunged it up a fair bit to make the spine. Um, I like the weight of the grunge paper, it's uh, very robust and flexible. I've run that through my um, scoreboard at every quarter of an inch to give some, give some um, ad additional flexibility and it helps to sort of round the spine. Here I am just applying it to the, checking I've got the back of the book apply it to the back first and then add some more glue and attach it to the front. I didn't bother recording the other parts of this little album because it's quite easy. I've just cut the file folders up. The album itself is about 19 and a half centimetres by 13 and a half, well, that's the covers. The inside pages are slightly small, about 18 by 12 and a half. And I've just attached those pages together by uh, using the hingey strips as I did in my last one. And the only difference with this was each page has a flip out on each side. So I've utilised the whole width of the manila folder as best I could. And this little book actually holds, it's got room for 48 4 by 6 photographs. Pinky fingers indeed. I forgot to put gloves in when I was spraying up the grunge paper. Here you can see on the Oh, we're just going to have a little quick flip through. You can see the pages. It does lie nice and flat. And there's the flips. There's one of those on each page. Let that dry while I put together the frame. Again, cut out of the coloured grunge paper. The top layer, I'm just adding a little more of the walnut stain distress ink as I did with the heat, the sorry, the spine cover to give it a, a deeper colour on the outside. Here I'm just layering those three layers up and on the back of that, the first one, I've actually put the paper frame from around the, the little label that you can see there, little taggers. I'm just showing you how I do it. I print it out on a piece of scrap paper and then using that grunge board frame where I cut out the previous ones, that allows you to put the die in, attach a bit of washi tape and you get the internal piece exactly where you want it that way. Just use it as a template. That's all layered up. Now I need to Give that a bit of a dose with some walnut stain distress ink. I used to gather twigs for the rest of the book, all of the pages, all of the mats. Sorry, not the pages, but all of the mats and the other bits and pieces all had gathered twigs, but I used a bit of walnut stain to darken up the, the grunge paper for the spine and also for this little frame. that on 
onto the book with some glue. Quite pleased with the way this one turned out. I've used up a lot of old papers and as I say I've almost completely got rid of the dreadful little manila folder, file folders that I had that were too rough. I solved the problem on this one by not having any pockets because it simply is too rough and tears. Just pop the name, name into the frame there. And I've got a couple of these little, I think this was a 6x9 clasp envelope template that I had from Genevieve and I've printed out rather smaller one of the small envelopes from that set. I had a couple of those, or had one already printed out, so I did a second one. Um, and I'll use those in the front and back cover just to put, uh, have some additional storage space, perhaps for labels or speech bubbles or name tags or whatever uh, that might be useful to use in the journal. thought it was a shame not to use these as I had one already printed out. Just scoring that along the score lines and gluing it together. I use these templates in a lot of things. They're a very useful set. I'd, I've got my eye on her bigger set. I um, haven't been able to get them yet but I will eventually. In the meantime I just make use of these. Giving it a bit of a coat all around the edges with some of the gathered twigs, distress ink and applying the little mat I cut for them, some scraps from the rest of the journal to fit on the front of that. I made two of these, one for the front and one for the back. I actually got to use my little Velcro fasteners. Here they are. Tiny little ones and they're one part is sort of whitish and the other is quite clear. I saw Genevieve using these on one of her albums and she'd actually coloured the the white hooky part with um, I think some sort of marker but I didn't need to with this as it was a, a white envelope. They're almost invisible. Now, surprisingly um, they've got a surprising amount of hold to them I use one also on my little kitchen noteboard to hold the pen and that's been up for some time and hasn't fallen off. Now if you take nothing else away from this, this video, take note here, over the double sided tape on the edge of the pocket I'm rubbing some glue stick. Um, this was a tip that I saw on one of Genevieve's videos. She got from one of her subscribers and she couldn't remember who it was or she didn't say who it was but I've done it ever since I saw it and it's absolutely amazing especially if you're using the red sticky sticky tape um, I always get a bit of a, a tiz about because I'm sure it's going to be crooked and quite often it is but if you use the glue stick over the adhesive tape it gives you time to get it straight almost as if you were using a wet glue um, and certainly doesn't detract from the strength of the tape that you're using so that's an absolutely amazing tip to have. There it is, the little book is just about finished, I'm quite pleased with that spine, there's plenty of room there, it opens really flat and the little pockets were some from that Genevieve Harlequin design and there's some of the flaps, I'm just opening them up. There's one on each, there's a flap on each page which means that each page 
holds four photos. The colours and things don't exactly coordinate, but it's all fairly neutral, so I'm quite pleased with that. You can see here that the 4x6 photograph fits pretty well and there's room at the bottom to do a little bit of journaling or attach a label or something like that. The photos also fit into the front pocket quite easily, front and back pocket quite easily. There it is. That's this little journal done and dusted. Thanks so much for watching. I'll catch you next time. Bye now.